Hello, so in this video, we will be seeing the smart lock practical section. So, for smart lock, go to the file system and you have an option called smart lock. So, click on that. Here, you can see the warm domains that are configured. So, right now, uh, we don't have any warm domain. So, you can create the warm domain here. So, warm domain is nothing but uh, just have to um, give the uh, privilege delete on off or permanently disabled and uh, you have to give the path so which particular folder the this domain has to be uh, applied and here you can specify the retention period so specific for one week so so you can Put a minimum retention period so i'll put minimum one days and maximum of one week and automatically commit files after a specific period of time so let's keep that as 24 hours and over retention period and protect all files until a specific date so if you give this option so if you want to uh, specific uh, this particular date and protect all the files until the specific date so let's say if the retention period gets completed also so until this particular period of time the file will not be able to be edited so this will override the retention period so let's not give this option and create a domain so it's asking that for this particular share you want to apply the warm domain so it says that the only way to remove a warm domain is to delete the folder so i'm going to create it okay so it says that the directory is not empty so to put that we have to put this on an empty directory so let's choose another directory so this should be empty yes So this is done. So whenever we was so whatever file that we put inside this particular NFS CLI folder, so so this will go for an auto commit till one day, and once uh, commit period is completed, so this will get into a warm state. So this warm state is like minimum of retention is one day, so maximum of one week. So once so between this time you will um, one day to one week you will be able to edit it and we are not given the overridden uh, retention date option and let's see the same thing on the cli 